Hello, welcome to Lost in Vivo. It's finally released, though it's going to release a bit later on Steam. I got it on itch.io, and it's it's by the same developer from Spooky's House of Jump Scare. Um, I, I, I remember playing the demo a long, long time ago, and it's been a long time. But with that said and done, well, let's just get into it. I'm sure the game's changed immensely some from when I last played it. Also, so how are you feeling? I think my roommate's going to be going to bed. I'm going to be recording even though he is sleeping. So basically, I'm going to be talking much quieter from now on. And in a bunch of my other future videos, because I want to record a lot. Do you feel these sessions are still helping? You could try something a little more direct. We could start in vivo exposure therapy. Hmm. But yeah, so I'll be talking quietly if you want to know why I'm talking. Say, like this. This might be a good... A good setting of my voice volume. Not sure. Oh, we play. Oh no, we were. Oh shit, we're walking the dog. It's cool. Come on, little corgi buddy. You're so fucking adorable. Oh, I want to own a corgi so badly, man. Though its tail looks a little off for it to be a corgi. I saw it's supposed to be a corgi. Corgis don't have those long of tails. Cookies have like little little stub butts. They have loaf butts with small little tiny tiny wiggle tails. Are we like walking our dog in Silent Hill though? Also, how loud is it? Oh, my volume's actually quite low from my last game I played. I wonder if I should even upload that game. I'm referring, oh. I'm referring a game that people may or may not even see. I played this game that was just pure ear rape. It was obnoxious. I don't even know if I should or not. It. I don't know. It's. I don't even know if I should talk about it just because then people will be like, Whoa, what game were you talking about, Nico? I want to see. I want to see what kind of shit it is. I want to see how trash the game is. <laughs> I'll be like, It's not worth the rendering time because it'll take. I only played it for like four minutes, but that was enough for me to go, like, No, fuck this game. Ah. <sighs> no little doggy. Where are we going? What if I stop going? He stops walking. What a good dog. Man. This weather's a uh, kind of shit. Should have brought an umbrella. Let's see. Other things I do want to talk about, though. Um, this game's been out since, I think, the 20th. So it's like two or three days late that I have not recorded or rendered this. I didn't even know it released on any platform. It didn't release on Steam yet, but I really, really wish I would have known about this game releasing in October, uh, so I could have prepared. Oh, jeez. I had to turn this down, actually. But yeah, I'm gonna... I, I really really wished I knew that this game was uh, releasing, because it was a game I was looking forward to. It was a game that I'm sure would be popular amongst a lot of people. I'm not sure if it would be as... as popular as Spooky's House of Jump Scares, which I was about to say. I don't think I did. The same developer who made Spooky's House of Jump Scares. But it's been so long in development that I had basically forgot about it. But here it is. I still remember the demo. There's like a locked door with a, a password that I didn't know or couldn't solve. I'm sure that's not even in this game at the moment. No, what? No. How the... How the... How the fuck did I get washed away like that? That makes me so sad. Lost and Vivo. Ooh, that'd be easy to make that into the next thumbnail. I'll just... Yeah, right there. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. Crazy Spyro Pyro. Is this supposed to be a reference to Spyro the Dragon? Either way. So the game is supposed to be... about claustrophobia. Cuttlefish 3011 Luxidious. 
My madness works. Huh. Hungry demon. Strange. Are these supposed to be like references from other developers? Rose Blood Wolf? This. This. Snack. What? what? Or the Snadger? Is that a C and L or is that a D? Oh, that's confusing. Merlin the Great Wiz Wizard and Wizard is spelled wrong. Not, not sure if that's just. Oh, Hot Cross. Well, I know Hot Cross. Wait. Is his name Hot Cross or is it Hot Bun? He made, he made the. um. Shit, I can't remember the game now. Shit. Um. You guys should know what th this is. He, it's just, it's, it's lost in memory. Strange references. I don't know who that is. But it looks like some kind of introductory wall of fame. And, and Mark, Mark Septicai. I don't think I'm famous enough to be on this wall yet. <laughs> but, Mew Bunny, Project M.A. Interesting. A wall of fame at the start of the game sort of thing. Maybe it'll just keep going, like, it, it'll, like, be something that's constantly in the game, like, just spray paints of that reference specific YouTubers. Grim Rosen. Cat FT Win. John07. Dr. Bile Duct. Lorenzo J. Yanez Jr. Wow. Yeah, you sort of get that wish that you'd also see yourself on the wall, but it's extremely doubtful. <laughs> uh, some of my YouTube videos on Jump uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion did okay, but I wasn't... Elliot Opossum Boy McPherson? It's the dog's definitely that way, so I want to check the other direction to see how many um, how many more references there are. Yeah. No, nope. just ends here. Looks like there's tons of room of where more people could be added, but why they were added? What was the prerequisite to the developer that they thought that they should do this? Is my question. Like, is it from supporting them, being a beta tester, being an alpha tester, closed beta tester, secret tester? No idea. But, oh well. No worries. It is interesting. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong way. Come on, doggy. I don't even know if we find the dog in the end. It's going to definitely be an adventure of, again, claustrophobia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Claustrophobia or claustrophobia? But seeing the dog struggle and go down the grate, I mean, I'm, I'm angered at the... Our, our player who let that happen. Ah, Rebus. Otaku Punk. Sarah Seeds. I'm angry. Who the fuck would just, like, let that happen? It's... The dog only weighs, like, what, five fucking pounds? Ten pounds? Shelby... Sharp. And the guy couldn't even just yank the dog up. Diolki? And yes, I did see that. Hold on. Can I turn you off? Nasty. Hypothermiac, Fidge Mimic, Tragically Hipster, Indie Timmy, Easy Ed, Darian RPG, Snow Mercy, Ronnie Josh, Steelius Llama, Drew Danable, Petius One. Inventory. I mean, first we have to take that. 
Uh, Brzeida and Monica. Alloran? Kama? Amazing Punk? Adam Crowley? Snurpadosh? Snurpadash? Huh, <laughs> torn leash. My dog's leash, it got torn on the broken sewer grate. Aww. Holds all the keys he has. What keys do you have then? I mean... There we go. Nice! I feel powerful with this. What is this though? Just to get it out of my way or...? It's, it's not a block animation, so I'm kind of curious. No idea. Con Wormworth. Hmm. A lot of people I just don't know. Like Mark 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 Septikai, I, I I get. It's just the combination of the two. Like they're in a relationship. Why not? I think that was a joke from a long ago. I don't know if it's still perpetuated. If not that being the case, in this evidence of it. I don't know. Shit. Which way is the right way? This way? So let's go the opposite way. If it always leads to these dead ends, then it just means don't go that way. But I'd like to know what is at the end of each hallway. It's just being thorough. People know me quite well for being thorough. So, I mean, I might as well keep that up. Because what if you go the right way and you never go the wrong way? And then you're left wondering, but what was down the wrong way? Just a dead end? A room? A secret item? An Easter egg? More YouTuber references? Who knows? Sure, we're meant to go this way. Nothing? I think I remember that from the demo. The dog better not be dead, though. If the dog is dead, I'm going to be upset. Well, I'm sure that is a common reaction. Don't I get, like, hit in the head at some point soon? Is that? That is a weird bug. That is a very weird bug. Like maggots and donuts and a pizza? Oh, there's not much on the TV nowadays, so I thought I'd make my own show. I started putting food and rancid meat in the useless old box and all sorts of little critters would come and play. It was really relaxing just to sit on the sofa and watch them eat, but the small critters started attracting larger ones to the show. Some horrid, putrid thing kept coming by to watch, so I would just pretend to, to be asleep until it passed. But I think it knows I'm awake. I think it's watching me, not the show on the TV. Huh. I'm wondering how this relates to claustrophobia, per se. That there's a large critter. Unless all this is in the mind of the character in the sewers, like the mi his mind is playing tricks as a coping mechanism for having claustrophobia. My eyes are useless. All they do now is sting and show me stuff. They can't be real. If that rancid thing... If that rancid thing wants them, then I say let them have it. Hmm... My voice doesn't sound as smooth when I talk like this. I talk more um, gritty. Like the, I don't know how I'd put it, but it's not smooth. I'm trying to be quiet so my roommate doesn't hear me. I'm sure I'll be hearing comments of, Nico, when is your roommate not sleeping? You say that a lot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know, but not this way. This is still familiar territory to me, though.
Oh. I got them all, man. Oh. Well, you're much spookier looking. Are you Hillary Clinton? Weird. Oh, and this opened up. I wonder if. Doggy! I think I remember that happening too, but the dog was just a lot less detailed. I like the soundtrack though. Kill whoever has my fucking dog. I'm wondering if it is a blocking animation, it's just it's a toggled one rather than a hold or uh, timed. Like Dark Souls type of parry shield. Uh... I don't like this. Could be people in there. Like Doom styled, and then the cage goes down, and there's just a flood being surrounded by many monsters. Mm -mm. Hmm. I can't see in there. Charon or Paran. Supposed to be a reference to the Dante's Inferno. All hope abandon ye who enter here. It's supposed to be abandon hope all ye who enter here, or something like that, but hey. They're going to extreme lengths to get our dog back. But again, the dog better not be dead. The ending of the game better be a happy ending with the dog being alive, the dog being happy, the dog not feeling scared, especially if it's a corgi. Corgi's feelings must be preserved and protected. If anyone fucking disagrees with me, I swear to God. Corgis are special doggos, like, super special. As well as Samoids. Samoids are super special doggos as well. Would have been good thumbnail material. Being overly cautious made me miss out on that chance. Well, well, hang on. Wait. Going here would be obvious, but is it a save point? Definitely not. I. I don't think I should drop down there. Can I save? This is not a save area. Um. Oh no, I can't jump back in. No, no. An escape does nothing. <sighs> now I won't know what's in the other direction. Which was a long pipe, it looked like there's a left and right to it. I could be wrong, maybe it's nothing and it, was, it would just be like a long tunnel and three dead ends, but that bugs me. I can't get back in this fucking pipe. And there's no way I can, like, hit escape and, you know, restart from last checkpoint or something like that. I'm just gonna leave it here, though. So, I hope you enjoyed Lost in Vivo, and you look forward to the next episode and the rest of this game. It looks interesting, it looks fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.